Because Mexican is not found in the Bible. Black is not found in the Bible. Who are we according to the Bible? Do you hear me? That's all, my man. What's going on with you? Yeah, come here and get your nationality, young lady. It ain't gonna hurt. What's your nationality? You a Moorish? Do you know what Moorish means? It just means black. And do you know? Do you know what happened was? What happened was the Africans came in. In the Israelites came, and I, I think it was the was what was the um who was it? Who else? What you call them? Arabians came, the, the, the Arabians or Arabs came, and they just came up with the Moorish name. Who are you according to the Bible? Because Moorish is not found in the Bible. So, so and do, wouldn't you want to know what God called you? You would, right? And Moorish just mean black. Let, 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 let's find out. Give me, um, give me Job chapter 3, verse, verse 3 right quick. Job chapter 3. Verse 3, I want you to understand. Something that happened to his people, he left a sign for you. And this, this is what you, listen. Joel chapter 3 verse 3 Go ahead. And they have cast lots for my people so They cast lots for his people Do you hear me? Look what the Bible is saying Read. And have given a boy for an harlot uh -huh. And sold a girl for wine So when they came to the west coast of Africa The, the, the so called the, the, the so called American they, The African sold, sold our kids Our men and our women for, for, for wine and stuff Go ahead yeah, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? God is saying, what you African nations, what, what you got to do with me? Go ahead, read. In all the coast of Palestine, read. will you render me a recompense? God said, would you pay me back? Go ahead. And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? The same thing that happened to us, that's going to have to happen to them. This is what the Bible is saying. Go ahead. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. Do you know God called you his silver and gold? You did not have an idea. Not everybody, but he's calling you personally. Read. And have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. Go ahead. The children also of Judah. The children of who? The children also of Judah. The so-called blacks. The so-called... The, 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 the so-called... African Americans, the tribe, um, Jamaicans. Jamaicans and Haitians are from the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. Uh, and have carried into your temples the goodly by the things, the children of Judah uh -huh. and the children of Jerusalem. The children of Jerusalem, go ahead. Have you sold it to the Greeks? To the who? To the Greeks. To the white man? To the Greeks. He's, and how did, did we get sold to the white man? Do who sold us? The Africans? Do you hear what I'm saying? This Bible is coming to life for you, hopefully. Go ahead. That ye may remove from them far from their border. In Africa to here, the west coast of Africa is far from here. Go ahead and give me um, Tim, 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 Babylon. Go ahead. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them. So right now, we're getting raised up. We're coming back to our nationality. Not Moorish, not African American, but God called us something different than that. It's in there, right? Hold on. I want to read something to you, though. Go ahead. Uh, 84, page 84. 84. Yeah. Go ahead. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. So do you, do you hear me? He's raising us up now. We live in the last days, young lady. And you know, do you know, do you do you know anything about the Bible? So what happened when, when he said he's gonna send that deaf angel? They had to mark the mark their door with the blood of the lamb. The way we the way we have access to Christ, because that will be our blood of the lamb, is coming back to the covenant. There's more than just 10 commandments. There's over 613 commandments that we must return back to. Buying and selling is an evil thing. Do you hear me? On the Sabbath, Friday, sunset to Saturday, you shouldn't be cooking. You shouldn't be buying. You shouldn't be selling. And we're just trying to wake up the whole full elect of the people. Only one-third of us is going to hear. Two-thirds of us is not going to hear. And this this, this, this um, coronavirus is a plague that God said he's going to begin to plague the world again. But the only way to be safe from that is not our melanin in our skin. It's coming back to this covenant. Do you hear me? It's coming back to this covenant. We for sure, the laws and commandments don't make us righteous. What makes us righteous is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. But the only way to get access to him is by coming back to the covenant. Go ahead, read. Look what this says right here. Read. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompeia captured Jerusalem. They captured Jerusalem. So, so we're talking about like 70 AD. Let's go. In 70 AD, General Vince. Prince Benson yeah, and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. They put an end to the Jewish state. This is a, this is showing you how we got into Africa. Read with great slaughter uh -huh. during the period of the military governors of Palestine. Uh -huh. Many outrage, many outrages and atrocities uh, were committed against the residue of the people uh -huh. during the period from Pompeii to. 
Julius, uh -huh. it has been estimated that over one million Jews. No, one hit, one million who? One million Jews. One million Jews. Listen. Fled into Africa. Fled into Africa. Now, why is some white people fled? Fly, fly? They're not gonna flee into Africa. They fly. See, so listen what the Bible says. Keep reading. Okay. The, the history book is saying. Go ahead. Fleeing from Roman prosecution and slavery. Uh -huh. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. No, the, the slave market is what full of who? Black Jewish slaves. No, white Jewish slaves. Black Jewish slaves. So we are who? Black Jews. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? There's no, there's no such thing as the white Jews. Listen to the Bible. 21 and 20. This is that same thing that we just read in that history book in the Bible. Listen. Um, and when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with army, so that's that Roman army that surrounded Jerusalem. Look what the Bible is saying. Then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Uh -huh. Then let them which are in Judea, let, let them black Jews go ahead, flee to the mountains. Flee into where? To the mountains. Flee into Africa, read. And let them which are in the midst of the, it depart out. Uh -huh. And then let them not, uh, and not, and let not them that are in the country enter there too. For these be the days of vengeance. This is the days of vengeance. God is getting us back and reading. All things which are written may be fulfilled. And that's what's happened. God's going to fulfill everything. Now, go ahead and give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse verse 15, right quick. I hope you hear. I hope you hear me, young lady. You hear me? It's time to wake up right here. You, you want to cover. You got kids? You want to cover these kids. Do you hear me? But we got to come back. All right, see, we, all right, we can't. We got to be doing the laws and commandments. That's what we understand. I know we've been told something different, but we got to be doing the laws and commandments or we're not covered. Do you hear me? The only way to know God is by doing the laws and commandments. Give me give me that in First John chapter 2, verse 3. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it should come to pass. It said, it should come to pass. Go ahead. If thou would not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. All these blessings. All these curses. Hey, where are you really from, young lady? Yeah, the city you originally from. Um, Los, Los Angeles. Go ahead. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curse shall thou be in the city. In the city of Los Angeles, we what? Curse shall thou be in the city. The city of San Bernardino, we what? Curse shall thou be Cursor, should I be in the city? You got it. <laughs> See? Do, do you hear me? Even, so are we cursed in Los Angeles, us as a people? Be honest. We're cursed. But we can go to Barstow. We, we can go to San Bernardino. We can go to New York. We can go to Texas. We can go to Chicago. Us people, we're cursed. Look what the Bible is saying. And curse should I be in the field. And in the work field. When we is in the in, in the cotton field, will we curse? How about today in the work field? Last hire, first fire. You know, we get a we get a cause of education and the same just if he white, we get the same they gonna get paid more than me, huh? If I do something I work for me, yeah. I, 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 I work for myself for that reason. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. That's awesome. Go ahead. Where we at? I got John. First John chapter two. This is how we know we know him. Verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. Listen. If we keep his commandments. No, I, all I need is a relationship with Jesus Christ. I got a relationship. And hereby we do know that we know him. Yes. If we keep his commandments. Man. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Verse 4. He does if I know him. Now, I know him because I go to church every Sunday. I'm there every Wednesday. Go ahead. He does if I know him and keep if not his commandments. What's the fourth commandment in the Bible? Keep that Sabbath, right? You got to keep that. So Sunday worship, they already breaking the commandment. So do they know him? They don't know him. Is a lie? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I saved. I did this in your name. I did that in your name. And, and, and keep it not his commandments. It's a liar, and the truth is not in him. The truth. And do you know the truth is this commandments and laws? Can I get that? Two and seventeen. James two verse seventeen. So listen. Yeah, we will be on YouTube. It's called Children of Yashmar. You got a phone? Mm -hmm. Pull up YouTube. Pull it up in there. Uh -huh. Go ahead. James. Go ahead. Make sure she knows she is going to sleep. Go ahead. James to the 2 verse 17. James to the 2 verse 17. Even so faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, amen, say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you the I will show thee my faith by my works. See, and, and the church will tell you that we don't have to do nothing. It's all by faith. See, the church is, is contrary to the Bible. They do nothing, but God has sent his people out here to wake us up to come back to these laws of the We want to get covered. The kingdom of heaven is for you. You want this, right? And it's not for everybody else. I know that's hard to believe. Let me give you some more if I make sure you 
Come on, I'm asking the question who you are again before we leave. We got Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 54. Let's hear what Baker. She understands that all these hits are right now. Give me um, Deuteronomy 54 right quick. Listen, Deuteronomy 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, uh -huh. his eye should be evil toward his brother. Us as black men, so-called Hispanic. Oh, we got an evil eye towards each other. Listen to what the Bible was saying. This fit us like a glove, read. And toward the wife of his bosom. And we evil towards our women, read. And toward the remnant of his children. And towards the remnant of his children, which what? Which he shall leave. No, he's going to stay. Which he shall leave. No, he's going to raise up and be daddy of the year. Which he shall leave. Aren't we known for that? This is curses God left for you to know who you are in the end days, not Morris. Come on, give me, um, give me, um, go ahead, give me, um, 68 right quick, right quick. Because how did the so-called African-American get to this land? On slave ships. How did the Native, when the Spaniards came over here, they took the Native American and the Hispanic man away on slave ships. This is what the Bible is saying. Did everybody go to slavery on slave ships? Everybody. No. But we do. We know for a fact, huh? Look what the Bible is saying. God is leaving you a sign. I hope you're listening, young lady. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. The Lord is going to bring you. What was the Israelites doing in Egypt? Let my people go. Pharaoh, let my people go. Well, he's going to read right We're we going to give it to you. We're going to give it to you. Listen. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of, the, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of slavery? Bondage. So Egypt means slavery. So when we read in 68, God is going to bring us back into slavery again with ships. How do we get over here? Do you hear me? On slave ships, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He's going to bring you back into slavery again with ships, read. By the way, where I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We would not going to see the original Egypt again, or we not going to see our homeland again. But let me show you something right there, because it said, it said Egypt again. Give me Revelations 11 and 8, right? Spiritual Egypt, right? Go ahead. No, 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 no not you, not you. You say what you have. Again, the, um, there, there shall you see, there shall you see, wait, sorry, sorry. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there you shall be sold to your enemy. No, to your friend. To your enemy. To your neighbor. Okay. And to your enemy. If God said you got enemies, would you believe me? Huh? You believe me? Because this is the most high, right? Because your homegirl said, uh, this is your enemy. You won't lie with that, huh? God said we're going to be sold to our enemies. Look what the Bible is saying. For, for bond men and bond women. For slave men and slave women, right? What happened when we got off them ships? We got sold for slave men and slave women to who? God said they were our enemies, huh? Read. And no man shall buy you. And no one's going to redeem us but Christ, because Christ redeemed us okay, on the Christ. Let me tell you how it goes. Okay, I'll tell you how it goes. You, can, you can't tell me. You can give me your opinion. Go ahead. I'll give you the word of God. You can't. It, the word of God is here. But you can check what I say is okay. No, you. you Hebrews 13 2. Read them out loud. Tell them how it goes. Hebrews 13 2. Hold on. Let me let's do this first. Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the... He said their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city called what? Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. America is spiritually called what? Sodom and Egypt. Do you hear what I mean? Who's that dead body? You know why we dead? Because we didn't know who we are. We thought we was African American. We thought we was Morris American. Right. We thought we were Mexican. Native American. Do you hear what I mean? This is... Go ahead. Wherefore also our Lord was crucified. How was Christ crucified in America? Who is Christ? His image. Who is Christ? Do you hear me? Hamasi Akihara Shah, right? Hey, my man, we got to have some decorum. I'm trying to talk to this young lady. Okay. If you take your time, after been, I'm dealing with her, I will deal with you. I've been to the mosque. Uh, oh, you want to hear me how I say it? Uh, listen, I'm dealing with her. I have some decorum, bro. Dude, you should listen to me. Hey, 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 I hear you. You hear me? See, do you see? Very prideful. God said they are prideful. Give me that. They are prideful people. They prideful. I'm trying to talk to this young lady right here, and he's coming in. And he's going to just spit. You hear me? He, 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 he think he's somebody he's not. So how did they crucify Christ? Do, what, 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 what image did they got of Christ? It's a white image, huh? Yeah. Do you know what color Christ is? More. He, he's, yeah, more. Do you hear what I'm saying? He's a, he's a dark-skinned man with nappy hair. So, so that's how they crucified Christ. And they also crucified who, who Christ came for. Christ ain't coming for everybody. Give me that in Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Psalms. Psalm 73. And four, uh -huh. for there are no bands in their death. There's no bands in his death. Look what the Bible was saying. Their strength is firm. They, 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 they are firm. They've been firm on our heads for since since we came and slayed. They ain't let us up. They have they they they, they slaying us and killing us. The men. They are not in trouble as other men. They, no 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 no. We get the same cry. We gonna get the same time. 
They are not in trouble as other men. No, I'm a teenager and I'm gonna get tried as a I'm gonna get tried as a adult. So that white dude that did that, that tortured somebody and killed somebody should get tried as a adult. They are not in trouble as other men. The little white dude, he got tried as a child. <laughs> Even when they go shoot up to school. Even when they shoot up to school, right? They don't shoot them down as soon as they see them. They go and arrest them. Look at this Bible. This, but they saw this is hard. The most recent, the man in, in, uh, in the south when he was just uh, he was just executed. 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 He turned himself in. He didn't even do it. He wasn't even a part of the shooting. That's a hatred. That gotta be a hatred for you. To, to, and they gotta pay for that. They gotta pay for that. Therefore, pride could pass them as a chain. He was very prideful. He was like, nah, I'm talking to you now. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's me. I'm here. The white man is here. Do you hear what I'm saying? Listen, violence covered them as a garment. And aren't they the violent people? They went around the whole world killing and mass murdering. They, they, they say don't forget 9-11, but we got to forget what happened to our ancestors. Every time we start talking about what happened to our ancestors, what? we're racist. Do you hear what I'm saying? Look what the Bible is saying. They are, uh, uh, they, their eyes stand out with fatness. Because they, they, wherever they go, they take it, right? He said, he said I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to pull the military out of Syria, but I'm going to protect the oil fields. That's Syria's oil field. What are you talking about? The, what kind of school is this Bible talking about, Read. Right? They have more than their heart could wish. They have more than their heart could wish, right? Verse 8, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression and that's wickedly when we say so what happened to our ancestor and they say well i don't have to we, why are you being racist why are you remembering that do you hear me do you understand that you are the holy one you are the holy seed god you do, god has put a spirit on them to make them feel like you shouldn't marry a black woman or a black man that's god doing that because we don't supposed to marry them Woo! do you hear that what you got yeah, look what the Bible is saying. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Well, he's the God of the whole world. Lord God of Israel. No, God is dealing with that with that, with that East uh, Edomite right there. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He's the God of Israel, we. For he hath risen and redeemed his people. Uh huh. Give me, give me, um, keep on reading. Hold on, right Give me um, Acts 5, verse 29. Read. And have raised up a, uh, have raised up and horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. That's talking about who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that what? That we should be saved from our enemy we got sold to who our enemy yeah we gonna get saved from who our enemy god is still calling them what our, enemy. our enemies and from, and from the the hand of all that hate us and don't they feel